it's steak ranchero. So simple, simple ingredients, easy within 30 minutes. So join me here in my kitchen at Lulu La Vida and let's make a really good spicy um, dinner for the family. Come on, let's go. Hey guys, Lulu La Vida here. And here we have a very simple recipe for um, when you're in a hurry and you have no to have that much time. So I'm gonna go over the ingredients. As you can see, it doesn't really take that much. So we got here three pounds of top beef steak. Um, three pounds, or it depends on the family, but for us, I do uh, three pounds. And then this here, it's salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And what I do is I always have my own seasoning I prepared before. That way I don't have to be getting all the ingredients separate. We got three cloves of garlic. And then here I have eight serranos, but then again, you can use as many serranos as you want, depending on the, on the if you want it really, really spicy or not. But for three pounds of the uh, beef, I do eight serranos. And then we have a full onion. Uh, based on the, the pounds of that. And then I have one tomato, but if you like it really tomatoey, you can always do two tomatoes. Also, I forgot to put this here. I do like maybe half a can of Hunt's tomato sauce with a little bit of water. So what I start doing first is start uh, cutting up the meat in strips, kind of like fajita strips. I just cut them up, slice them up that way. So that's the, the first step. And then I have the pan, the skillet already with the oil. I like it to have the, the pan and the oil really, really hot. And then I have the seasoning and um, we have the meat here. So we're gonna wait and make sure that it's hot. And then now we start incorporating the meat. As you can see, all the three pounds are here. Let's go. Shouldn't be that long to uh, get it cooked because it's very, very thin. So we're gonna do this. I think it should be about maybe 10 minutes. Uh, just you know I don't season it until I have it in the pan so like I place all the meat here I try to even it out I don't have the heat really really high because I don't want it to uh, you know I like to have the uh, juices come out of the meat so incorporate all the meat to the pan and then we're gonna add the seasoning like the one I tell you that I already have pre-made which is garlic powder salt and pepper and that way it's all combined. So here we go, see? Turn it up, I added my garlic to the uh, meat and then just turn it up a bit. And then now I'm gonna go and, and get the, uh, the onion ready. So you can add the onion. I'm gonna slice them up so you can uh, add it to the meat. They're very, very low heat. And you can see there's the juices already flowing. They're coming out, so. See, it's already turned color, so it's time for us to add the uh, So here you see, here's the uh, the beef. It's ready, round top beef. And uh, now we're gonna add the uh, onion. So here we go. Let's add the onion. It's like I said, it's a whole onion. It's a... Uh, a lot of flavor you know garlic and onion are always in my recipes except for the uh, pastries but I love garlic and I love onion I think that they they give it so much flavor to all your food so I love using different kind of uh, spices seasoning and things like that I always try to change it around as you can see the onion is already cooked and soft so Next, I'm gonna add the uh, serrano. See, eight serranos. So we're gonna add them, mix them up a bit, and then I'm gonna go and get the tomato ready. And I think for this one, since I did three pounds of meat, I'm gonna do two uh, tomatoes instead of one. We got a lot of meat going on. So, and I love tomatoes anyway. So let me go uh, fix the tomatoes, and then we add them. This is already soft, the, the, the jalapenos are soft, so it's not time to add the uh, tomatoes. Always add the tomatoes at last because they're gonna get mushy, but they're gonna um, 
get a lot of the juices out and then I, like I said I did two tomatoes and I leave them on top and then I'll mix them up a bit and then to add a little bit more flavor I get half a tomato can with a little bit of water and then I add a little bit of the North Suiza but the tomato to this and then I add it to the it's kind of like half a bowl see I add it to this and then I mix it up and I cover it and I made it for five minutes and it's just, just gonna be juicy flavorful see the meat's not dry it's it's just like moist it's just delicious can't wait to uh, get a bite of that um, and like I said I did eight serrano so it's gonna be spicy but if you don't want that you can just do two to keep it mild or remove the seeds if you want but in our house we love spicy food so I'm gonna cover it up for about five, what, five minutes or so. Look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? Oh my God, I could eat this every single day. But anyway, let's plate it up. I have some uh, Mexican rice and some avocados. And that's it, that's a simple, dinner with the family you know so I hope you guys like it and try it don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you next time